Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I just want to be happy. Let's get started and talk about it. Recently, I just put a question on my community tab about what makes you happy. And I asked you guys, and I wasn't surprised by the answer, but I was actually very pleased and excited to read all of them. Most of you wrote comments such as spending quality time with family and friends and your animals, getting out in nature, doing a hobby you enjoy, and your relationship with God. All of those types of things bring you guys joy. And I don't know about you, but I think many of us would love if we could spend more of our day doing things that make us happy. Because think about this. Many of you, many of you may think, well, you know, shouldn't we think about others? I think if we were happier, more joyful, and more peaceful people, we could spread that joy and love to others and it'd be contagious, kind of like paying it forward. Now, I know that being happy every moment of the day is not realistic. We know that life happens, whether it's stress at work, maybe a health issue, an unexpected you know, bill that comes up or a house repair you weren't wanting or you can't afford. We all know that life happens. But I definitely do think that if each and every one of us spent more time every day doing things that brought us peace, love and joy in our life. You know, turn the phone off and said, you know what? I know I've got a lot of responsibilities right now, but I'm going to table those responsibilities and I'm going to get outside and take a walk. Or I'm going to go sit down for 20 minutes and crochet something or whatever it is that brings you joy. Spend some time doing that. I don't know about you guys, but I am going to start doing that for sure because many times, and I've heard my husband say this and I've heard other people say this, I'm not living life, life's living me. I think some people, when we get up in the morning, we just get going and you get ready and then you're on with your day and that day's over before you know it and you're doing all these responsibilities, whether they're work or home, any responsibility like that, and you we're not taking time to spend time doing something that brings us joy. I think I mentioned this on a previous video that recently my internet was down for a while. I don't watch a lot of TV, and I actually took some time and I watched a couple Hallmark Christmas movies. I felt so relaxed on my comfortable furniture. I don't usually take time to do things like that. I'm always thinking about things that I quote should be doing. And you know what? We all know this. Life is so short that I would love to see a world, and at least hear the folks that, of that are watching this video, to think about what brings you true joy and happiness. And whatever that is, spend some time doing that every day. I think that it could overall change your mood. If you don't mind me saying, responsibilities will always be there. Whether it's cooking, cleaning, paying bills, work, that stuff does not go away, right? It's always going to be there. So why not table some of that for a while, take some time for ourselves, and ask us what brings us true joy, spend some time doing that because I think that that could truly bring us joy. And speaking of that, I don't know if you guys have gone over to someone's home or to a store or to a restaurant where you can just tell that the people that are there are very joyful and happy and it's contagious, then you hear everybody laughing and being joyful. Or you've been places where you go and the morale isn't very good and you kind of feel the tension and it kind of lowers everybody's vibration. I've been in that situation too. I just know that when I'm joyful and loving and peaceful and I spread that to other people, I, I feel like it's contagious and then everyone becomes joyful, happy, and loving. Think about how I personally think that if we spent more time in that mood, that we can even make better decisions and when we do get down to sitting down and you know doing some of the responsibilities that we need whether it's work whether it's writing bills whether it's family responsibilities cooking cleaning all of those things that sometimes we may not feel like doing if we're in a really good mood in a really good place we may get through some of those things faster because of being in that elevated mood and so I'm not sure about you guys, but for 2022, uh, one of my questions that I'm going to ask myself every day is, what can I do to bring more joy to myself every single day to get in a better mood? And how can I spread that joy, love, and peace to others around me? Let me know what you guys think. You know I love your feedback. That's all I have to say for now. 
I love you. I appreciate you. And like always, I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.